Here on River City Live, we're all about finding the coolest places in Jacksonville. And you know who really knows a lot about some cool places? Our producer, Abigail, and she has a friend named Mackenzie Fessel that she introduced me to in Amelia Island. She's a blogger, and she found a really cool internationally themed restaurant. Take a look. Detroit of the patio place. It's your restaurant and I can see why Mackenzie loves it. The atmosphere is great. Can you tell us a little bit about how you sure. came up with everything? Well, I've done 27 years in the IT industry, so this is my second career. Um, and the last eight years in the industry allowed me to travel quite a bit. So in 2009, my husband and I were in North, uh, North California and we ended up in a little crepe restaurant on a Saturday afternoon and it was fabulous outside of a farmer's market. Um, I thought, man, Fernandina could use something different like this. So I put that idea in my pocket and the very next year they sent us to Singapore for a year. So we stayed there for a year and we tasted all sorts of eclectic food, Chinese, Malaysian, Thai, Singaporean, and it was wonderful. So when we came back, I basically hit my midlife crisis. Um, I always thought I would have four kids never did it's just the cards that the Lord dealt me so I started to pray on what I would do with my life next where could I make my mark on the world and I never dreamed of opening a restaurant um, but one day my girlfriend and I were um, looking at places she's a real estate agent and I walked through the front door of this building and I immediately knew I would do what I would do crepes with international flavors amazing and you know I was looking at the menu and when I mentioned to you that it's very inexpensive, you said that Fernandina has enough high end and, and a fast food. Yes. Now it's time yes. for something like right there in the middle. The feel is what I think really stands out. I know that's what Mackenzie said she yeah, loves too, the atmosphere. That's my concept. I'm not a turn and burn place. Right. I just really want people to just hang out. I created an atmosphere that would just let you hang out. Great. And what are we, what are we enjoying today? Uh, we're going to make you two things. Um, we didn't name ourselves a crepery because we wanted people to enjoy lots of different eclectic foods. So we're going to bring you a crepe, a Mediterranean crepe, and we're also going to bring you our uh, famous French dip sandwich. It's famous. Let's find out why. I'm in love with this crepe. I want to marry it. How, it's so thin and perfect. Amy, how did you learn how to do this? Well, when I cracked up this idea, I'm thinking, how am I going to learn how to make crepes? Well, you wouldn't learn that in Colorado, right? So I Googled it online, and I found a little crepery in Brittany, France, on the coast. And my husband and I flew to Brittany, and we spent 40 hours in this little lady's um, crepery. And she taught us everything from the batter, which is authentic France crepe batter. Um, the savory is made with buckwheat, which is gluten-free which has been a huge hit around the town. Sure. And then the savory is just like they make them in France as well. And um, we make them on these authentic machines called a billig, which we bought out of France as well. So it was quite the trip. Mackenzie, thank you so much for the tour and also for helping us find Amy's new restaurant, the patio place, because you're a block off center. I think it's worth for people to, you know, really look for you, but uh, worth the trip to downtown Fernandina. So good. if I mentioned at the beginning that it's called the Patio Place. I know that we mentioned it in the story, but if you want more information on the Patio Place, you can go to our website, RiverCityLiveTV.com. Click on the As Seen on RCL tab. You notice no leftovers came back that time. I'm deeply offended. <laughs> I mean, I thought I was the food guy, but uh, Eden. Oh, my right. gosh. All right. You're the food 